Alright, we're back on Imposter Monitor Challenge Hard Mode. Episode 8, I believe. It's been a year since I've played this. Appears to be right where we left it. On our way to do this task. I just realized I think I'm going the hard way. At least where the deep snow is. Should have went the other way. The way I took the scout to go get this. I think it'll be all right. So I think most of the bad spots are downhill this way. There was uphill coming back with the maintenance trailer. get metal beams here or I could get them over there <coughs> closer to the task but we're here now so might as well get them and we're in hard mode so it costs money to load that's why we have a crane Put them over there like that. Shove them. Oh. Shove them back a little bit. Perfect. Store. Pack. We're good. And then if we can back up this dolly trailer, we'll be doing all right. Nope, I already screwed it up. Close enough. Oh, I even missed their fence. Alright, and um, here we go. See how bad this is going to suck. I have faith in the old Royal BM-17 though. In, in reality this truck goes pretty good for not having any dip locks even available for it. As it gets stuck. Alright. Well, got out of it without a winch. Doing good. And I know these episodes were about 40 minutes before. I'm gonna try and keep videos to around 30 minutes on my channel from now on. That's annoying. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but... Man. That weight in the trailer is really not helping. That's right. We'll just winch today. want to 
pull that little tree out of the ground. Yep, there's the telephone pole. We're good. And we're moving again, slowly. I think once we get over this hill, we'll be doing all right. Maybe. Now we're moving. There's a lumber mill. I think the next bad spots are downhill, so kind of forgot about that hill back there. But I think we should be good now. Hopefully. Really think I should have went the other way. I didn't re discover that tanker. <coughs> I think I usually bring it from back there at that factory. Up here to this intersection just so it's easier to get to. It's going to be really unfortunate if I burn through all my fuel, though, because the Chevy's broken. Thanks to that bridge that I got stuck in. This isn't looking good. Definitely went the wrong way. It's my fault. Should have at least waited for the metal beams because that weight in the trailer is really not helping. Still moving though. Should we test the low range theory and see if that works? Oh, yeah. That stopped me in my tracks. Alright. Which goes back to my theory on low range doesn't do anything with no diff log. And highway tires. Because it clearly stopped me dead in my tracks. 
and it's still moving in automatic. Not moving very good, but it's moving. It's better than being stuck. Man, my bad knee has been throbbing for a couple days straight. It's starting to get concerned. It usually doesn't hurt this. Like, it either pops out and I know what's wrong with it. Or it's okay as long as I'm not too rough with it. But it is... It's like it's in a vice. It's just got pressure. Internally, I'm not liking it. Actually, it makes my foot go numb. Well, at least this section is downhill. I think the weight's helping me in that situation. Here's the shortcut to get to the watchtower. I don't know how many viewers are watching both my series, but the Apocalypse Mode video I just put out, I did a fuel mileage test, or, I mean, it does liters per hour or minute, I guess, but from the Smithville Dam Garage to the Black River Garage, there was actually a one liter difference when I edited the video on the Scout. And a five or six liter difference in the Fleet Star between using all wheel drive and not using all wheel drive. Which I don't think was that big of a deal. And I also noticed from the Smithville garage to the gateway to Great to Black River, the Fleet Star used one less liter per gal or per uh, minute. I think it says there. I used one less from the Smithville garage to the Black River gateway, and then with no well to drive on. And between the gateway to the Black River Garage, it used five less to get that far. If you need to know a reference of how far it makes a difference, I guess. Yeah, see, I should have just got my metal beams right here. Would have been the smart thing to do. Less dragging them through the heavy snow, but or the deep snow, the heavy beams through the deep snow, something, can't talk. Appreciate anybody that's watched the other video.
Appreciate anybody watching this video for that matter. Any views help? I'm not really trying to get famous, I'm just hoping maybe somebody can see something, a tip or trick I use that helps them out in their playthrough. Inspire them to challenge themselves a little bit instead of playing easy mode with a bunch of overpowered mods, but if that's how you play, have fun with it. I just like to suffer apparently. Are you going to go up the hill, or are we going to have to winch? Um, if I turn into the bank, it seems to dig a little bit. No. Winching it is, then. No. So stuck the winch wasn't wanting to do nothing. There we go. I think this will level me up and we'll be headed to Russia. Shut the engine on and save a little bit of fuel I don't have. Yep. Alright. Now we gotta get back to the garage on 94 liters of fuel. Oh, I think... We could stop by the drilling site and use that tanker. Well, we better investigate. That one is not discovered. That one is not discovered. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, see, I haven't played in so long. The global map's telling me... I have new regions. Should be... Maybe North Carolina and Almaty. Yep. Alright. So... Oh yeah, and then that one. I didn't discover any of that. So, um, since we leveled up already, we can't discover anything else. So we just gotta try and make it back to the garage. Which... This way... In a pinch, I could get some fuel at the fuel station. I think we're gonna try and make it to here, winch ourselves over to the pavement, and yeah, this is definitely a shorter route. That's the plan. At least the trailer backs out in the tracks it came in on, so that that's not too much of a pain. I think these trailers work exactly like a real one. I think it's due to grip physics on the snow and whatnot. They don't turn right. Sometimes you can get them to back up kind of normal-ish, and then sometimes they just push around and don't do what they're supposed to do. But anyways, let's see if we can make it back to the garage. And then I think to make my life easier for editing, depending on what the clock says, we might go to Russia next episode. 
so that you guys, I don't have to edit out a loading screen, I can just start the video in Russia. Driving back. Is there anybody that watches SnowRunner and Farm Sim content? I mean, I know I personally do. That's kind of why I started making both contents. But I don't know what my viewers are really into, whether they're here for one or the other, or... Some people may be here for my fails on the long dark, I don't know. I think I have had a couple subscribers from that series, but... I would like to get back into it at some point. That's another save that's on hold since last time a video was made. And if you do watch my farm sim content, do you want me to continue the Green Valley? Or... Thought about changing it up and... Mr. Sealy Peace. I watch his YouTube. Uh, he was doing the mod, the map review on Ravenport, and he was saying it was one of the original mod maps, I think, for Farm Sim. And it was kind of nostalgic. Well, I didn't start Farm Sim till 22. But I thought it might be fun to go do a series on that map. Because it does seem like a pretty nice map. We'll see how it goes. Might do one more episode on Green Valley and ask the question on that playthrough for people that only watch the farm sim content. Cause it wouldn't be fair to let you guys decide it and then people that are here for that series or only that series not have a say. Really? Finally, a good tree. Alright, let's go. Come on, we're running out of fuel. Come on, joystick, quit. Really? There we go. Come on. Come on, you're really sucking through here. Once we get over this hump, we'll be all right, but... Our leaders of fuel are not looking too promising. At least once we hit pavement, I can turn all-wheel drive off and... ...pretend we're saving fuel. See, because it's only at six liter... five? Seven? Five? Turn that off. Oh, it goes down to four. And back to five. I don't know. Seems pretty similar. Whoa, gonna hit the guardrail. Break stuff. I think we might make it. Hopefully. Should be good. As long as I don't screw something up. Too seriously. Oh, like that. Oh, not good. That was close. 
I think the trailer saved me from rolling it right there. I do that sometimes. Drive too fast on the ice to get the truck sideways and it catches and flips right over. More often than the Chevy, but I've rolled big trucks doing that too. Let's say this thing. It's a little tippy sometimes. I think we're just gonna ditch this trailer right here. We are close enough to refuel from here. Good deal. All right, how much left in there? At least when we come back, we can discover some of the other fuel trailers. Alright, into the garage. And the low rider Chevy. Thirty-four fifty. How do we not have enough money to to move? Once we gotta go here. That one is worth fifty-two hundred. That one's only worth sixteen hundred. Um. Alright, so we'll go with that one. And... Suspension... Hmm. That's weird. I don't remember what I did to lose money, but I guess we're going to have to sell this. Now we got enough. We will retain that, retain that. Go to the global map. Go to Tamir and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. In Russia. Bye bye.